from there, he went up to Beersheba. That night, the Lord appeared to him and he said, I am the God of your father, Abraham. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. I will bless you and will increase the number of your descendants for the sake of my servant Abraham. Genesis 26, verse 23 to 24. Activating divine encounter. As I keep on saying, there is no way you can encounter God and remain the same again. And we are going to pursue the revelation of Christ in whatever forms he will choose to reveal himself to us. We must encounter God. We must see him that we worship. We must see him that blesses us. We must see him that we preach. And we must have a diversity of himself. If you notice, so far we have been able to touch on Moses briefly. We will be back to Moses. We have also seen the, the encounter of Abraham briefly. We shall still get some more from Abraham. We have also seen encounter with Jacob. And if you notice those encounters, the moment they happen, those encounters are driven by a supernatural purpose. Like here, the Lord appeared to him. And I told you, the purpose of this series is to identify the way to position yourself and myself for divine encounter. Because encountering divinity is not your daily experience. He met with Isaac this night here. He appeared. The Bible is, is, is using the word he appeared, meaning he was vivid. He was clear. It was a clear uh, 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 experience, manifestation of God. Though the Bible does not, has not written here, he appeared in what form? But what I want us to note is this. When the Lord appeared to Isaac, he told Isaac, I am with you. Number one, do not be afraid. Whenever you, you, you encounter God, fear melts away. Fear expires immediately. You become emboldened. Number two, I am with you. One of the major purpose for encountering God is it's for you to receive official assurance of his accompaniment in your walk with the faith. That you are certain, you are sure, you are explicit. You are not just convinced. No. You know what you believe in. I am with you. Very important. Number three, he is saying, I will bless you. <laughs> you cannot encounter God no matter what any God leave you unattended, especially in the area of economic dynamics. I will bless you. So the moment we encounter God, our economic life changes our bless you. So meaning that was an economic impartation. He received it from an encounter. The Lord appeared to him and he's saying, and I will increase the number of your descendants for the sake of my servant Abraham. The other thing he's saying, 
another blessing you get when you encounter God is the grace of multiplication. The road does not leave you limited anymore. The road does not leave you inadequate anymore. The road does not leave you insufficient anymore. He increases you. He expands you. He multiplies you. But the question, we go back, the question is, how do you position yourself for this encounter? This verse, the road appeared to Isaac when he went to Beersheba. When he went to Beersheba. The road appears clearly to you when you're at Beersheba. Where is Beersheba? Praise Christ. Hallelujah. The road appeared to him at uh, Beersheba, which means a well of oath or a well of seven. Do you remember when Abraham made uh, a covenant with uh, with the Abimelech, with the Abimelech concerning the wells he had dug and they had been uh, repossessed by 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 the the Philistines in the Genesis 21, you can read it from verse 22, but you can read verse that one. So that place was called Beersheba because the two men saw an oath there. So God appears to a person who is at Beersheba. And here Beersheba means a place of vows, a place of oath. So, meaning there is a vow you can make that it be too deep that God has to appear before you, has to reveal himself to you. Mm -hmm. At the Beersheba, a place of vows, a place of oath. Number two, the most important one, the most important one, the most important fa fa uh, key, uh, key po of, of positioning is spiritual father. When God appeared to Isaac, he told Isaac, I am the God of your father, Abraham. And look there, he tells him, for the sake of my servant, Abraham. For God to appear to us, he considers very much we are operating under what spiritual cover? Cover is very important. If the cover you are in, you call a spiritual father or a ministry, mother church, if it does not subscribe to Abrahamic principles, it is very hard for you to experience God from there. Because God appears to Isaac, the believer, when that believer, that Isaac, the father is Abraham. If the father is not Abraham, and Abraham, you need to understand the concept of Abraham. The concept of Abraham is faith, righteousness, and then altars and all those kind of things. You know, but the road appeared to Isaac because he was a son of Abraham. So the road will appear to us if we have attained sonship standard. And he, according to the God, according to God here, this spiritual cover of Abraham is defined as father and servant. So it is a cover, spiritual cover, that is dictated with servanthood, that is dictated by humanity. So if you are under an, a father who is not a servant, but is a father who is a master, you can't experience God there. God reveals himself when you are under a father who is a servant. A man of God who is operating with the currency of absolute humility. Under which spiritual cover are you operating from? God will reveal to us when we are under Father Abraham, when he is a servant Abraham to God. Let God.